Morgan Watterson, Auburn High School. I'm a visual artist and I'm going to UW Platteville in the fall. I'm extremely honored to be nominated for this award for my art to be recognized. Um, I was honestly a little bit surprised. My art usually represents my life or is based on my life. Um, so if something inspires me, I draw it. I have a distal form of arthrogryposis, so my hands don't really work the way I want all the time. So holding a paintbrush is kind of difficult. But I somehow figure out how to do it. Even if I have to support my hand with my other, I still am able to find a way to get this picture out of my head and in, onto canvas. My GPA is a 4.04. .04. I do take some AP classes. I plan on um, studying engineering. I hope to make adaptive devices someday for people with disabilities. What sort of words of encouragement would you offer? There are so many different types and styles of art. I would just hope that they would find what they enjoy the most and do what they enjoy. Not to be swayed into doing something they honestly don't want to do. Selena Paneshi, Roosevelt High School. I'm a visual artist and undecided about where I'll be attending college. I really just like to create how I'm feeling at that time um, to describe certain problems or situations going on. Who do you owe most your success to? Um, my teacher, Kyle Wolf, for just helping me get better at what I do. And then my mom for encouraging me to keep pushing myself and keep doing what I love. Um, just keep doing it. Don't give up, no matter how crazy it may seem. Don't let other people's opinions get to you, because it's really about expressing who you are. Taylor Slaybaugh, Guilford High School. I'm a visual artist, and I plan on attending Rock Valley in the fall. It's an honor, because there's a lot of other good students out there that could definitely have gotten nominated for this. I like nature, and I think there's a lot of nature that goes unnoticed, and I kind of like to emphasize on that. Where, where does all the success come from? Uh, probably my parents. They kind of motivate me. And uh, my family hasn't really been successful in school and stuff like that, so they really pushed me to kind of be the first. Uh, your art, you have to really look at the final product when you're looking at it. You can't look at it and think about it doesn't look the way you want it. Ducenia Perez, Jefferson High School. I'm a visual artist and I plan on attending NIU in the fall. I feel special because other people, there was many other people that could have been nominated. Um, I like working realistic and just working with like the face and the body. How does somebody get to your level, be it that good of an artist plus have that good of a GPA? How does that happen? Um, by knowing your priorities, um, just knowing that you have to work for, like, for school and put that before your social life. My teacher Lynn Stockton is my biggest inspiration because she cares. She always helps me and she points me in the right direction. I do really want to work with art just to keep doing it because practice makes perfect and to not procrastinate. Dana Smith, East High School. I'm a visual artist and I'm attending Rock Valley in the fall. Um, I make ceramics and 2D pieces. I like to throw on the wheel a lot, so I'm into making coffee mugs and vases and stuff like that. Uh, it all started with my first ceramics class, my first sculpture class, and um, I fell in love with clay. It was the first time I ever did it. I just became obsessed with it, and I just knew from that point on that that's what made me happy, and that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. It's a huge honor for me. It's an amazing feeling to know that your work has been recognized and that um, your hard work is being appreciated. I've had my um, artwork in the rock. Rockford Art Museum, as well as some other places like Northwest Bank and um, Octane and some art shows around downtown. I like organic forms, so in a lot of my sculptures it's a very organic, very free form. Um, whatever comes to my mind. I would say find what you love first of all and um, stay focused on it and never give up on it. 
and um, strive for the best and um, do your best and um, never give up.